mostly, you know what I'm saying, I pray that everything handles, you know, and falls in the correct order it's, it's supposed to fall in, you know, uh, God's will. But mostly, Yahweh, you know, God, Jehovah, Jireh, you know, is my provider. He provides for me, you know, the safety I need and all of this. You know, because everything that I'm dealing with is, 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 is right now living, breathing up against you kind of proof, you know, about, you know, the, the reality of the gospel. You know, here I am, you know, a man of God. You know, and I'm all, I'm promoting it and the things I'm writing and speaking, you know, all the things that God approved and commends me on saying. You know, it's not nothing I decide to say because if you notice, and, you know, so I'm very selective about the things that I promote to the public. And that's for a reason because I'm under a strict contract. You know, I'm under orders by God himself. You know, I'm under orders by God himself. I can't do what I want to do. You know, I can't say what I want to say. I can't act how I want to act. You know, everything I'm doing is, 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 is under my contract in God that I have. You know, it's my only way I can live in, in under the contract to God. And that's the only way I want to live. It's the only desire I have is to do the things that God commends me on. You know, I'm not responsible for anybody else's interpretation of, uh, you know, my actions. But I do want to declare, you know, clarity to be in the atmosphere so the truth of what's really going on is, is easier, you know, to, it's easy, you know, it's easy to understand and, um, and to grasp, you know, easier to get a hold of, you know. I ain't doing nothing for, for a show. I'm not doing nothing for attention. I never have, you know. And my reality ain't no different than what I started on, you know. I don't care about no outside forces, though, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that ain't got nothing to do with me. I don't care what somebody else saying, you know, that had nothing to do with me. That's not my responsibility. To go. I'm not my obligation to incorporate envy into my reality. You know, I have to be direct and blunt in my words because that's the kind of persecutions I receive. I receive some blunt, disrespectful, blatant, horrible, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, re I, re I receive horrible persecutions, you know, and therefore I speak the truth in the, in the same intensity. I don't fear no retaliation, you know, I don't fear no violence, I don't fear nobody doing nothing to me, you know, even, even as um, I'm, I'm, you know, even as, as I'm in the valley of death, you know, walking through the valley of death, you know, so to speak, or, um, you know, in, in alignment to the scripture, you know, the Lord, you know, is my comforter, the Lord, you know, he's riding his staff, they comfort me, you know, I'm constantly always asking God, man, only one thing that's on my mind, you know, while I'm in the valley, or, you know, any time I may be in the valley of death, wherever, you know, it don't matter, you know. I'm always asking God. And he always confirming it to me through the way he speaks to me. You know, if what I'm doing is of him, if I'm heaven bound. You know, that's my, that's the main question I ask. Like, if, if you know, like every five minutes, you know, every five, three to five minutes, I'm asking God these questions, you know. Uh, if, you know, if I go right now, Lord, am I coming to you? And you always, and he'll tell me, you know. He'll tell me. And if there's anything I need to correct as a man, then he'll tell me. You know? Then, then most times, you know, everything good. So I'm trying to keep it in that position. You know, I'm trying to keep myself on that on that rhythm. Everything good, you know. I'm not my, my goal ain't ain't to overshadow, you know, my, my goal is to overshadow evil, you know, and darkness, but that's not my 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 dominant, you know, that's not my primary goal. My primary goal is just to embrace, glorify God and resolve to spread the gospel to save souls. You know, as a result, the product of that, you know, darkness will be disrupted, you know, because of darkness in society. And then, you know, it's, it's a lot of reasons as to why that is, you know. None of which involve me, none of which concern me, you know. I'm not, that's not my, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just say, I start. My, like most of my promotion and stuff, my work be, be totally sporadic, you know. It's just whatever, you know, because cause the Lord got me. You know, I'm under this contract with the Lord, of course. And the Lord tells me when, you know, he tells me if it's okay for me to do something or not, you know. And that's whatever, you know. And when I decide that that's what I want to do, and it aligns to the Lord, and I just do it, you know. It ain't, no, nothing, it ain't nothing stopping me. It ain't no... You know what I'm saying? It ain't, it ain't no blocking me. It's just what I decide to do when I decide to. You know, if I die, then I go to heaven. You know, if I mean, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it ain't no big deal, really. You know? But it, all lives matter, though. You know? And that's my thing. My life matters, you know? 
Other people's lives matter, you know. Just because somebody served God, you know, don't mean their life matter any less, you know. And that's just like in a societal standpoint, you know. It's not totally talking to any government, governing powers or anything of that nature. You know, that's not that's not the position I stand for. I stand by God's side. I'm not, you know, in opposition of, of no particular establishment. You know, I'm not. My opposition is towards the devil, you know, and the values that he imposed on the world. And then, you know, of course, the things that God does not approve of, you know, uh, that naturally is my opposition, you know, without my will, whether I want it to be or not, just because of my loyalty to God, you know. Like I say, somebody else might be saying stuff, you know, uh, about me or something like that, and then everybody else see that. Everybody, everybody peaks everybody's interest that's that's of the world. Everybody that's of the world, that's going to peak their interest. And then, you know, they're going to pay attention to that. But me personally, I don't really pay, I don't pay attention to that. Like, I don't know and don't care. You know, I'm not even on that level. You feel me? I'm, I'm looking, I'm looking at things. I'm looking at the future. Like, I'm looking at, you know, how I can, what I can do to make the world a better place. You know, uh, what I can do to make a difference in this place. You know, uh, that's what my concerns is. You know, uh, how I can do better, you know, better lead, you know, save souls and lead, you know, uh, from the gates of hell to the gates of heaven, you know, uh, you know, salvation, get people, you know, open eyes to the truth and the light. I, I too had my eyes had to be open at one point in time, you know, and I, I learned when it was my time to learn, I learned from lots of, of different sources, man, and some individuals I ran into along the way that I can never forget, you know, God bless all of you, whoever, you know, um, all of you that ever, you know, um, educated me. On the, on the gospel, correcting me, you know, the God used it as human instruments, you know, to speak to me when I needed to hear something the most, when I needed to hear it the most, you know, you were there for me, God bless you and thank you for that, you know, I ain't never out looking for trouble, you know, that ain't never my, my steelo, you know, I'm not, I'm not, you know what I'm saying, like, I mean, but that's the part of it, though, like, we, we hate it by the word, that's what I mean when I say, that's what the Bible says, the word hates you, you know, first remember that it first hated me that's what the lord is saying what jesus is saying the first it, the world first hated him like you know in the light as a true speaker and a follower of christ you know you know what i'm saying you 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 just you can be on your own way you know you be on your own way and then around you and you're know, not necessarily literally around you but around you you know in an atmosphere you know it's certain forces that say like anybody that Satan can get to quickly and they receptive them to you know the things of this world he can get into them and then they, they be filled with so much hate towards you animosity and envy and all these things towards you you know what i'm saying for no logical rational reason explanation they just hate you so bad you know and then they be orchestrating things to get you um get you going from the earth to get you killed to destroy you and you do and just like when jesus was passing through he did nothing to nobody you know and it's the same thing. Any, any true Christian and believer will go through the same thing, you know. You did nothing. You, know, you do nothing but, but but the name Christ get you extreme persecution. And it's not for any rational reason. It's just because the devil hates the Lord. The devil hates the Lord and God. He, the devil envies the Lord, you know. And he hates God. And that's why people want to kill us. You know what I'm saying? For just embracing the light. And then making up these reasons as to why we deserve to die. Why we deserve to be punished and all this, you know? Dragging up crazy old dead stuff, you know, just for fake reasons to destroy us. You know? Like it never ends, it never stops. And, and any truth speaker in your silence, you know, you go silence, that's when you'll be destroyed, you know? Okay, that's the way it all, that's the way it all goes. Spirit was heavy on this, you know, because I'm pretty sure I ain't the only one that, that benefits, you know, from these uh, spirit-inspired words that the Lord gives me to say even at this very moment, you know, uh, this, just to speak, you know, it's not sporadic, you know, in, in the sense that it's random, you know, but it's for a reason, you know, God don't do nothing for no reason, you know, God does everything for a reason, everything happens for a reason in life, you know. You know, my attention, I'm not even, I don't care about getting under nobody's skin 
or I'm provoking nobody or none of these, none of those types of things are on my mind at no time, you know. I'm not responsible for what somebody else envy in their heart, you know, you know, move them to say against me. I still love them, you know, I love all souls, everybody, you know. And I want the best, you know, for everybody. Eternal salvation, you know, that's that's the best. It's better than eternal damnation, you know. And that's my main prerogative, you know. My main priority. You know, the rest of that I don't care about, you know, you know what I'm saying? Anybody can do whatever they gotta do. I'm going to do whatever I'm supposed to do. I'm going to do what I was sent here to do. I'm going to do what I have to do, what I must do, you know, like everybody else can do, like they have to do, you know. I don't do nothing to bother nobody. At no time, you know, I just, I mean, I, when it comes to, like, you know, the gospel and things, that, yeah, they can be viewed as bothering somebody. You know, I ain't going to lie. But that's, that's, that's a part of, you know, severe persecution. You will witness severe persecution, you know, but you can't be afraid, though. Because God say, fear not, you know. Some of us are even killed, you know. But you know, when the evil, you know what I mean? You have to stay strong, you know? stay strong through it all, never give up, y'all. You know? Never lose faith in the Lord, you know. I, I, it's, it caught me by surprise, actually, uh, the persecution that I received, you know, for. Um, just for doing me, you know, it got to the point where it was like the air got thicker, you know, in, in the just period, the atmosphere period, where, you know, in, not, in no particular location, just in general, you know, the atmosphere got thicker, because at one point in time, I was used to just write and do my thing, and, you know, just, I want word to focus on, I had, you know, just, just a straight vision, you know, clear vision on what it is, my goal, my, what's inspiration, and, and just talking about the Lord, my testimonies, what, what he brought me through. And these things, you know, not caring about nothing else. You feel me? That at some point, it just got like, it just like the air got real thick, you know. And then that's when I didn't realize why the air was so thick. I'm like, what? I, mean, I got to write these, you know. So I used to just write these poems. And I used to just speak these truths. And everything was just so effortless, like, you know. But then at some point, things got like, like the air got real thick, just out the blue for me, you know. You know, out the blue. It got thick, you know, I had already um, disbanded the persecutions from, you know, um, um, like small, small time persecutions and things, you know, that I was dealing with. But then, you know, I mean, apparently, you know, that, you know, over time, I, I had acquired more persecutors without my knowledge, you know. And then they jump on, you know, persecutors jumped on me, my grind, and. And that's how I got blindsided because I really wasn't paying attention because I felt as though that particular um, reality had no, no no correlation with any me or anything that I'm doing. And it doesn't, you know, in all reality, you know. I, uh, you know, and, and the reality being, you know, violence. The reality I speak of not having correlation with is violence, you know, the hate, basically. You know, uh, you know quote unquote, this, uh, you know, like street type realities, like in the sense of, uh, you know, in the sense of uh, not, you know, say we we have to love our neighbors, you know, like, like the Bible say, love one to another, you know, and that's, you know, in general, we have to love each other, you know, uh, pray for each other, you know. I'm down with everything that represents that. That's the light to me, you know. Like, stay, you know what I'm saying? Like, but speak the truth now. Speak the truth. And the truth sometimes step on toes, you know. I mean, that's a part of it. That's what you have to do, though, you know. God is not cruel. You won't never put more on you than you can bear. I know that atmosphere got thick because I became a threat, you know. I became a threat. Just my just my presence or essence, my existence became a threat, you know. But that don't stop, you know, a change the trajectory that I or this other path that I'm on. I'm just God just allowed my life to be a proof and a testimony of his existence, you know, and that things that, that I proclaim from my mouth are indeed the truth and the light, you know, of the light. Jesus is the truth and is the truth and the absolute truth and the light, you know, but I'm just a, a, a vessel, you know, 
of just, you know what I'm saying, an instrument that can be used by the Lord, you know, to, to point souls towards him, which is the, the way to salvation. And, you know, after death or transition, you know, that's what, that's what, that's the reality that, that will be. Yeah, evidence, self-evidence, you know, no matter what we previously thought or believed, he's going to be right there, you know, right there. Like, there ain't no way of hiding or ain't no way of saying that he's not real or not there because he's right there. He'll be right there, you know, no matter what we thought while we was in the earth, you know, like, that's him, you know. And we know this, and I know that your eyes been awakened if you understand and know these same truths, you know. Keep your eyes on the cross. That's the theme of this message, you know. Stress is gonna come. You know, heartache gonna come. Pain gonna come. Even joy gonna come, you know, and happiness gonna come. But never let anything take your attention and your gaze off of the light and the Lord, you know. Because if you look, if you pay too much attention to the the valley, they we can and will consume you, you know. The valley is not the whole, you know, we have to make sure we have a clear understanding, you know what I mean? Trust me, we know we're in the belly of the beast. As as you know, followers of the light and being in the light, we well aware that we in the belly of, you know, uh, the beast, you know. No, it ain't nothing all good, you know. It's always all bad, just because of who we are, you know. And that's that's speaking for like true speakers, wherever far and wide, you know. Because anybody, you know, there's, 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 there's a lie that they call it. They go be they go be in a similar, you know, position. I leave nobody out, cause God bless everybody with uh gifts, talents, and God bless them, you know for. You know, stand, stand, for keep being obedient, you know, and listening to the word of the Lord and the light, you know. Never lose hope and faith, and never give up, never stop growing, either, you know. It get easier the stronger you get, you know. God is the main concern. Loving God. That's the main concern. Love God with your entire being. Everything else gonna come, you know. It don't take, it don't happen overnight. Understanding the importance, you know. But in front of, I, I know I've been through the steps already. I've been through the steps to get where I'm at, you know. The spiritual steps. If it's a spiritual war, it's a spiritual battle, it's a spiritual everything, you know. First, I, I, when I first started, I was skeptical. Lord, why was I skeptical? I don't know why I was skeptical, but I was, you know. I should have been. But, man, was I wrong being a skeptic? Because I wish, you, know, you can see the world through my eyes right now. Looking at the world through God's eyes, you know. Looking at things through the Lord's eyes, and some things I still got to develop in. You know, I'm not 100 percent perfect. You know, it's things I still have to develop in. You know, but it's all toward the same cause. It's all in the Lord Jesus. You know, give people eternal life instead of eternal damnation. I know. And you know, as as the, and the closely, like it's like everything feel like right. In, it falls right into an already set, pre pre set, predestined cycle. You know, like that's what I've noticed in my in my spiritual journey. You know, thus far, like it's like events and things happen in a way that it was like I just like walked right into things that was already set to happen, like spiritually. You know, it's 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 crazy. Like it's it's um it's eerie 
but it's amazing though. You know? Because I already know what Satan doing, even though I don't know who he uses. You know, like, that's how it is. Like, I don't, you know, that's not my concern. My main concern is always, you know, I'm looking at things radically, you know, looking at things in their, in their true origin, you know, in their state. That's how I see things, you know. The original points. I ain't not to destroy nothing but satanic change that's on the sheeps. In the name of Jesus, you know, not in my name. It's not about me. I don't, you know, it's not about Dexter. It's about Jesus. It's about the Lord, you know. And and the more into the persecution, the more heavier and severe persecutions I faced, the more I was, you know, I was inclined, you know, to embrace the Lord more, you know. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? The Lord is like the word and the spirit and, the, you know, the spirit sword being the Bible, which is the word of God, is the spirit sword, you know. And the Lord is the good shepherd, man. And I had, you know, and it's like the more persecution I felt, I was pushed into embracing the Lord more. You know, that's what it seems as, you know, as I grown more. But then I learned that's the natural function of things. And then I started to see like what ancient Christians and, and like Christians were saying already. You know, um, and the thing I started to get under, I started, like, it, it just clicked to me. Like, I started to actually understand what some of these verses meant. Like, what some, um, I, some of the things I've been hearing for years, you know, what they actually meant. Like, it clicked to me one day, you know. Like, this is what's going on. That's with many other things that I finally got my head around. Just, out of, just miraculously, like, recently seemed like I got an open understanding on some things that I previously was ignorant about, you know. Nah, speaking the truth, we deserve no type of, you know, the, like, horrible treatment and things. We don't deserve, you know. Now, don't get it wrong, now. Don't get me wrong. Nobody, you know, in the flesh is, is perfect. Only person that was in the flesh perfect is Jesus when he came. That was the only perfect human, you know, person. He never sinned and became our sins. For himself, you know, he put his all sins on himself and took them. So we don't have to, but we get what we actually deserve, you know, as as people, as as humans, you know, in the flesh and, and of, of blood of the flesh, you know, that's it, it is sin. So sin, you know, is a constant in the flesh. It's just a part of the flesh. Anybody born of woman is sin, born in the sin. And, and sins, even without wanting to, unknowing. So we, we save by grace, by God's grace, not by anything we do. Even our righteousness ain't good enough, you know, to get into heaven. He saves us because he loves who we is. Everybody can change. Anybody that's been on the wrong path and stuff, they can change. Truth is mandatory. We live in a society that, you know, has a lot of falsehood in it. Truth is hated. Truth is hated. You hear me? That's how you know if it's real truth or not. Have some you have some options in the world, you know. Some of I think some people, some some you know, some stories were already made to be hated before they were written. You know, that's just I'm that's in terms of life. You know, we have options. We can choose the world and comfort, but then we we give up our eternal life after we die. It is something that everybody has to share. You know, what we go after that is something that we're not all going to share. You know, without choices on earth. It ain't easy. 
it's worth it though. Go through the son of this word, you know. Following the Lord. Because he did. He already went through stuff we go through. So he been here, you know, he can say he relate. And he, and he cares and he loves and he knows. One day all this be over though, you know. Keep your eyes on the cross to that point. One day everything be over. You know, the world. Spiritual warfare be over. Ain't that something? Spiritual warfare be over. Glory to God. Praise God. Hold on and hang on, soldier. Warriors in the light. Put on your armor, God. Keep treading over scorpions and snakes. Here. You know, thistles and snares and traps and chains and feathers, things of this nature. That. And the sin that so easily besets us. You know, don't give up. God bless.